Armourall qualifying getting underway now as the BP Ultimate pit lane is officially open to begin the elimination qualifying process. So there are three parts of this qualifying system. To begin with, we're going to see all 26 cars go out there. They'll be running for 10 minutes. And then at the end of it, we will eliminate the slowest six cars five minute break. And then we'll do it again for another 10 minutes for part two of qualifying. We'll reset the clock and go again. And at that point, we'll eliminate the slowest 10 cars. That'll reveal the final 10. It'll be a five minute break. And then that final group of 10 cars will run in the last portion of Armourall qualifying and that'll determine the top end of town. On screen here is Nick Perkett. He's just jumped up into fourth position. Five and a half minutes remaining. Anton's out of the car. So this is a huge story. So for the young driver that's dominated poles, he's had seven of them so far this championship season. They've got something going on with the transaxle, something to do with the gearbox. It's taken him out of the car and the guy that dominated the first two practice sessions earlier today and his teammate, Will Davison, sitting in eighth position. Mark Scape. It's a cruel sport, isn't it? There's a bit of traffic lurking around on the other side here of turn two. In fact, there's a whole wall of cars and they're all effectively dawdling at the moment. So hopefully they see him. Anybody that impedes. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, oh he's in the fence. That was actually the wild card Thomas Randall that was in the way just then. So that's a fair initiation for both our wildcard drivers. Calm it down, we'll uh, have another go in. Pull those tyres off, you can get round and still do one more lap. Nice, nice bit of avoidance by Kurt Kostecki then. That was, for all money, going to be a very big accident. So we're now in the second phase of elimination qualifying for race number 23 of uh, the championship. For car 55 from qualifying part one. So there's car 55, three good place penalty for impeding voice of Motorsport Australia race director Tim Schenken just confirming what we all suspected would be the case. So the benefit of a little tailwind here as he makes his way into top gear down the front straight starts nudging up towards 270 kilometres an hour. He's at the top and in fact he's peeled a tenth out nice job. P1. P1. with 45 seconds remaining. Remember it's the bottom 10 that we lose. And the two Erebus cars have knocked off the two Red Bull Ampol Racing factory Commodores. So Kostecki and Brown above Van Gisberg in a wing cup. Slade, Waters, LeBrock. Macaulay Jones still stays at eighth at the moment. Will Davison now up to fifth. So he's the first of the Mustangs with a 29-4. There's 0.13 of a second across the top four cars. Cam Waters is eighth. LeBrock is currently tenth. So for Tickford, those two Mustangs have looked like, I'm looking at the cars still on track. I, I think they'll probably stay in. I can't see anyone else doing another lap that's going to be good enough. So McCauley's numbers here might show an improvement. Personal best for him in a couple of sectors. Oh, oh just oh, misses oh, out. Oh, no. He got to 11th. And he missed out by a tenth of actually cracking in the 10 here. And sometimes week on week, you get very different behaviours in this racetrack. So 38.5 for him in the middle sector. He's the only one out there at the moment, Will Brown. And those two cumulative sectors, they they put you in the late 28s or the low 29s. Mm. That, that, that's a really good level of commitment from Will Brown. It's a nice lap. Let's see what it does. 29-0-3. Very, good very good lap. A little bit of mid-corner push in second gear there at turn eight of the hairpin. And just slightly down. There's not much in it. Young bloke, Will Brown, looking on intently with his engineering group. He's got about a tenth in hand at the moment, Will Brown. And this might be his first career pole in this category. He's had great success in other categories. So at the moment, it's a hefty margin of 0.6 of a second, and it stays in Will's favour, 0.12. So at the, at the moment, the moment one of the hurdles cleared. We're inside one minute. This might be a big moment in the career of Will Brown as a supercar driver. Will Davison and Jamie Winkup have gone oh so close. Jamie just two one hundredths behind Will Brown. At the moment, Will Brown's on provisional pole. This might be a huge moment in his career. And Slade's done his best lap. He's come up two spots to six, but that's only a 29.59. So George Commons, <laughs> all the team are at Erebus now. The elation for Will Brown, the young man from Toowoomba. Barry Ryan, team principal, comes over. 
And, wow, have a look at the smile on his face. He's animated, he loves his racing. New sponsor on board for this weekend, Shaw and Partners. And how cool is that for the young bloke? Last weekend, first ever supercar podium with that runner-up position. This weekend, his first ever armour or pole. Huge moment for Will Brown and for Erebus. And he came home, Mark, by 0285, 0.0285, a couple of hundredths of a second and uh, crazy margin. And have a look at the bloke alongside him. It'll be Jamie Winkup, who's not exactly a rookie in the game. He's certainly not a seven-time champion. Jamie Winkup, in terms of pole positions, we know he's been extraordinary throughout his career. He's had 91 pole positions, Jamie Winkup. And for him to get so close to Will Brown, he did a great job, but Will has been able to knock them off. Outstanding performance. Great story on that session result board in front of you there at the moment. Will Brown takes the armor or pole, adds another name to that list, and he becomes the eighth driver this championship season to achieve an armor or pole from Jamie Wincup by a fingernail, the narrowest of margins, then Van Gisbergen, and Davison, and in fact, both, well, Jamie, not just both, it's three of them. It's Jamie, Shane, and Will are covered by a crazy small margin, 29 Zero six, twenty-nine one zero, and twenty-nine one three between Wincup, Van Gisbergen, and Davison. That is truly remarkable.